The ancient city of Pompeii, near Naples, in the Campania region of Italy, is very well known for the preservation of Roman buildings and streets, due to the tragic events caused by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The Roman period dates to around 89 BC, although presence in the area can be traced as far back as 800 BC. Oscans, Greeks, Phoenicians, Etruscans, Samnites, all of them were there before the Romans, but what we see today is essentially Roman. At present, archaeology in Pompeii is still active and, from time to time, new discoveries are made. Two weeks ago, for example, what could be the oldest known wine according to many sources was found inside a tomb which is over 2,000 years old. If finally confirmed, would that mean it's the oldest wine ever discovered? Let's check it out. Welcome to Ancient Puzzles. Hello, hope you're doing well. So yes, very interesting discovery at the necropolis of Porta Sarno, in Pompeii. The Valencian archaeologist, Llorenç Alapont, and his team found an urn containing more than 6 liters of a dark reddish liquid, most likely wine. It was inside the tomb of a woman called Novia Mabilis, the wife of Marcus Venerius Secundio. We know this man was a public slave and guardian of the Temple of Venus, who once freed, had achieved certain social and economic status. He had become an Augustal, that is, a member of the College of Priests dedicated to the imperial cult. His body was found partially mummified in a different tomb of the family pantheon, something quite unusual since the bodies of adults were always cremated. The tomb where the wine has been discovered certainly housed the ashes of the woman, and those of three children as well, most likely their children. The dark reddish liquid is now being analyzed in Valencia, and the first laboratory test confirmed it contains tannins, so comparing the sample with current drinks will help to see how much it resembles and differs from contemporary wines. Llorenç Alapont, though, seems to have very little doubt, and points out that the presence of wine in Roman funeral rituals is very well known. The articles covering this finding also mention that, so far, the oldest wine was thought to be discovered in the tomb of a Roman nobleman from 325 AD near the city of Speyer, in Germany. Basically, a glass bottle filled supposedly with wine, but that has never been 100% confirmed. The problem is, I soon came across other articles reporting the discovery of ancient Chinese wines, and some appear to be significantly older compared to this recent finding. That is obviously quite confusing when pretty much all the media is saying that this one in Pompeii is the oldest ever found. So, let's take a look. This one is maybe the oldest Chinese wine ever found, a fruit wine with an estimated age of 3000 years, long before the Qin Dynasty, which is the first dynasty of Imperial China. It was inside two well-sealed bronze kettles belonging to the Zhu Dynasty. Next, we have another between 475 and 206 BC, corresponding to the Warring States period or the Qin Dynasty. 300 milliliters of rice wine were found inside the bronze vessel. And we have also this one from the early Han Dynasty, between 206 BC and 24 AD. It seems to be older than the one found in Pompeii as well, and it's worth noting in this case the swan shaped bronze pot that had contained more than 3 liters of what experts call medicinal wine, so I'm not sure about its composition. For those who wonder if these examples can be considered wine, well, the truth is that, even if it's normally understood that wine is made from fermented grapes, wines not made from grapes, like fruit wines or rice wines, are also accepted, so that means this Roman wine could be the oldest made from grapes ever discovered, but this is just my assumption. Last but not least, it's important to remark that, so far, the oldest traces of wine ever found date to around 7000 BC, and were discovered in the grave of a shaman, buried with a ceramic, which contained residues matching modern rice and rice wine, grape wine, grape tannins, and ancient and modern herbs. There were also indications of a hawthorn fruit. The discovery was made in Jiahu, central China, so that might be telling something about the origins of wine. Alright, that's all. Hope the video was interesting. Don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!